Hi guys, beautiful day today. Just did a Skype session, did some role play. Did a role play about someone who's having recurrent falls. So I thought I'd do a quick video about some of the things to think about if someone comes and says, doctor, I'm falling regularly or I've just had a couple of nasty falls. Of course, there's a lot of medicine to think about. I mean, is it a fall in itself? Was it a trip? Was it mechanical? What's the story? But could there be any medical stuff going beyond this? Of course, think about, was it a collapse involved? Was there any loss of consciousness? Of course, you think about those things in great detail. Any MSK problems, things like arthritis, for example, recurrent pain in joints, maybe that's led them to fall. Is there any cardiac stuff going on? Arrhythmias, aortic stenosis, um, ENT, things like vertigo, balance problems, could they be contributors? And also neurological stuff, could this be things like TIAs that are happening that you're missing, for example. So of course, there's a lot of medicine to think about when it comes to someone coming in with a fall. Any contributors, what's their vision like? Have they had eye checks recently? Do they wear glasses? Did they have them one at the time? Did they may have missed something on the floor, for example? Any history of cognitive impairment, both at this point, thinking of acute confusion, but also a past history of things like dementia that may make them more light to fall over. Any history of frailty? So again, things like arthritis, problems with joints, osteoporosis. Again, could these be contributing factors? Medication, of course, interactions maybe, but also things like polypharmacy can lead to things like falling and also history of things like alcohol, both currently a current state if they come to see you now, but also in the past, any history of things like alcohol use. But then one of the most important things to think about is impact. Now, the patient may not come to see you to get a diagnosis or why find out why they're having falls. It may be because of the impact that it's having on them. So for example, someone comes with recurrent falls, what's their confidence like? Has it hit them? Has it got to a stage now where they're worried about walking for 10 meters on their own because their confidence is so low because they may fear falling? What's their mood like? This can lead to depression. If someone has recurrent falls and it gets in the way of daily life, maybe their mood is being affected. Maybe that's the trigger for them to come and see you. Is it allowing them to leave the house? Are they now confined to the walls of their house? Maybe again, that's the reason they've come and see you fine. It's not the falls they're worried about, but the impact of them not being able to go out and meet friends, socialize, for example, could that be a big thing? Activities of daily living, is it getting in the way of their normal life? Who's doing their shopping if they live on their own? Who's, who's getting all these things done for them? Is it impacting them getting up the stairs? For example, if, they, if their bath is upstairs, how is it impacting them staying clean? Because if they're worried about going up the stairs because of worries of falls, how is it impacting them in that particular way? And of course, we've got to be bearing in mind things like safety as well. If they are walking around on their own, is there someone around in the house in case they do have a fall? Have they got fall alarms, for example? All these things might be important for us to think about as well as asking the patient they may not tell us these things themselves. So when it comes to falls, of course, there's medicine to think about. Why is it happening? Is it a fall? What could be the underlying reasons and contributors? But don't if, don't forget impact. That might be one of the main reasons they've come to see you in the first place. We cover these kind of things much more in our CSA webinars, CSA courses, and CSA audiobooks. I hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass.